Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, determine a reflection over the y-axis. And remember, when we're looking at reflections, we're applying the um, we're applying, uh, blah, 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 lines of symmetry, right? So we first need to know where the y-axis is. Well, the y-axis is here. Here's the x-axis. So therefore, I'm going to plot these points, and I'm going to reflect it about this line. But there's a certain rule that we can do without even actually graphing them and reflecting them over using the line of symmetry. Because think about it, if I have a point over here, I'm going to reflect it over here, right? But the distance from the y-axis has to be exactly the same, but just reflected over the axis symmetry. So there's a rule that I want to show you first before we actually plot them. So when I reflect, if I have an original coordinate, x, comma, y, my new coordinate is going to be negative x, comma, y. Because think about it, if I have a point over here and I reflect that point over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That point is going to be reflected, right? If that's a and that's a prime, notice how the y coordinate, right? It still is high on the y axis, but the only difference is the x coordinate is now changed. But it's still the same distance from the y axis. It's just one is positive, now one is in the negative direction. So the only thing that's going to change is the direction of your coordinate. So it's always going to be the opposite of x. So let's go and take a look at this. Um, actually, let's go and figure out what our new coordinates would be. So by applying this rule for the reflection of the y-axis, I'm just going to negate, meaning take the opposite of each one of my coordinates. So a prime, which would be my new image, as these are the pre-image, would be negative 6, comma 3. b prime is now going to be negative 4, comma negative 2. And c prime, 0 does not have a, uh, is not positive or negative, so that's just always going to be 0, comma, 4. So let's go ahead and um, graph the pre image in the black and then our new image in the blue and see if that makes sense as far as a reflection over the y axis. So a is 6, comma, 3, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up 3. Um, b is 4, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 2. And c is 0, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so that's what our pre-image looks like. Now, if I take that image, and you could also even just take like a sheet of paper and reflect it over, but a lot of times we want to know what are the new coordinates. So when I take this image and I reflect it over, it should look like something like this, right? All right, so let's actually graph the points, though, of our new image following the rule that we use. So A is now at negative 6, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3. Um, B is at negative 4, negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 2. And C is at 0, 4. So the image and the, or the pre image and the image have the exact same coordinates. That's B prime. And by graphing the blue, and you don't really need to worry about my estimate here, but can you see that this, this um, figure has now been reflected over this line of symmetry. It has the exact same shape. The only thing that changed is the x coordinates are the opposite in value. But it's been reflected over where it's the exact same shape. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you reflect over the y axis. Thanks.